Today, I'm going to show you how to work with styles in Microsoft Word. Styles are a combination of formatting characteristics that you can apply to text to change its appearance quickly. First, open your Microsoft Word. I have prepared here a sample document about unlocking the power of styles. As you can see here, the title or the headings aren't so prominent, so we want to customize it using styles to help us differentiate the parts that we have within this file. To start using styles, select the text you want to apply styles first. Let's say I'm selecting this title text at the top of my document here. Once you've selected it, in your Home tab, go to the Styles group on the top right here and click on the title styles. Once you've clicked it, Microsoft will change your selected text into the default title style from Microsoft like so. Next, as you can see, our headings here look just like normal text. So to differentiate it from the normal text, highlight all the headings and click onto the Heading 1 option in your Styles group. Let's say at some point you don't want the heading color to be blue. Now, instead of changing the color of your headings one by one, which takes a lot of effort, go to the Styles pane button in your Styles group and hover over Heading 1, which is the style that you selected for your heading previously. And on its drop-down button, click Modify Style. A Modify Style dialog box will pop up, and now you can just modify the heading style settings to however you like. Let's say we want to change its format into all italicized, so click on the italic button and change the color to red instead of blue. You can see the preview here, and if you're satisfied with it, click on OK. Now, all your heading 1 have been changed according to the modified settings that we've just made. And not only just to existing headings that we have currently on our document, but to all heading 1s that you're going to insert later on. Next, Maybe you want to add another level of heading under Heading 1, which is Heading 2. So select your options. For example, I'm making the points under this section here into Heading 2. And once you've selected it all, click onto the Heading 2 options in your Styles group, and there you have it. Now, if you already have the sections in your document clearly labeled like this, like the title, the headings, the subheadings, it will be easier for you to apply document formatting to your whole document. So now, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Go to your Design tab, and in the Document Formatting group here, you will see the various style options that you can choose to customize your whole document. Let's say I want to choose this orange style, so click on it, and it will change the whole document into this orange style, consequently to the title, heading 1, and heading 2 settings that we have set earlier. Or, maybe you want to change it to other color styles as well, like this blue one. Other than helping you differentiate the parts within your document, labeling the title, headings, and subheadings of your document can also help you create the table of content easily. To do that, go to your References tab, and in your Reference group, click onto the Table of Contents button in your Table of Contents group, and select one of the Table of Content options here. Once inserted, you can see that Microsoft has made you a table of contents according to the headings and subheadings we've designed earlier, as well as the page number where those headings and subheadings are located at. Not only making it easier for you to make a table of contents, the labels you've made can also help you navigate through your documents easier as well, especially if you have large amount of pages. To do that, in your View tab, go to the Navigation pane in your Shows group a preview of your pages will pop up on the left side of your screen. Click on the document map icon second to the right over here, and you'll see all the heading ones you've labeled. If you click onto them, it will bring you to their respective locations within the document. So now, you don't have to go through your whole document to go to a specific heading or part within your document. That's it! That's how you work with styles in Microsoft Word. Very easy yet useful, right? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, comment down below for any questions, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Make the most of your MS Office skills and maximize your professional performance. Till next time!